what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking jealous 84 here bring us more battlefield hardline beta today we're gonna be comparing call of duty events warfare versus battlefield hardline beta i know this game is still in beta but it still looks pretty much well done and we're almost finished so might as well compare them at this point even though there's only four maps and not a lot of game modes to be played on but it was very pretty much well done i was excited to play this game because god damn it looks pretty neat looks better than Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4, goddamn, you know, there will be a lot of glitches going on. In this game, there's rarely any glitches that went on. So, I'm happy that didn't happen, like, where, uh, you know, your weapon would disappear, like, for a while. You can't even reload. The reload button wouldn't even fucking work sometimes. It was just complete chaotic mess in Battlefield 4. But, you know, I feel like this game is already done. So, it's a good time to compare these two games and by the way don't start saying that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Battlefield Hardline are very different because they're kind of similar they're FPS games by God's sakes and by the way there's YouTubers out there which compared the infamous Second Son game versus Titanfall and I was like what the fuck they have nothing to do with each other they're both different genres so before you start you know acting all stupid and compare you know because I'm comparing these two games think about it there's YouTubers out there that compared the infamous Second Son game to Titanfall Two different whole genres, man. Way too different. So anyways, let's start off with the comparison. First off, the weapons. Which one's better? Pretty much, Battlefield Hardline takes the win on this one. Let me tell you guys why. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Tell me, how many weapons do you guys have customized? And which ones do actually work? How many YouTubers out there have mentioned you know, certain weapons? Only two. Only two <laughs> weapons are usable in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and they're easy. They're the easiest ones to name on, uh, which is the ASM and the BAL-27. Do not say no. It's the truth. Those are the only two active weapons there's out there, that, which have a good amount of rapid fire, good recoil, and you can shoot from long range and shit. You can only use two fucking weapons in the whole goddamn game. If you're going to use another one, you're going to have to camp or keep your distance, because... All the other weapons don't make a lot of damage, man. I played the game, I played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for the past two months, and I'm telling you, there's only two usable goddamn weapons. Even though I was forcing myself to use another weapon, it's quite hard because they don't do a lot of damage compared to the ASM and the BAL-27. That's it, you know, that's pretty much where the game locks itself up, you know. So, I don't know, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game on, on guns, it's fucking horrible, horrendous. If you guys can name me another gun you guys can have done well with, Please let me know in the comment section, because for sure, you're still wrong. Um, anyways, the Battlefield Hardline weapons, uh, there's a lot of weapons you can use. The AK-74U, the only gun with a no recoil, apparently. Uh, there's another guns like the M16s, M14s, the UMPs of the SMG division. There's the P90. Um, there's the, the... Was there the KF-5? What's the fucking name of that gun? The K-10? There's the, the V-10 or whatever it's called. It's, it's like the Vector, I believe. There's a lot of weapons you can use. There's more than seven. And the better you customize it, the better the way you can comes out and uh, you can get more kills like that. I mean, there's a lot of weapons that you can use in this game. A lot of them. Compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you can only use two, this game you can use more than seven. And they all come out good. Except for the first weapons on each single division like the assault rifles, the SMGs, those fucking guns suck. But once you unlock the rest of them, you're pretty much well, you're pretty much it. You're pretty much got your weapons done. But hopefully in the full game they do add more weapons because I feel like it's kind of, you know, small for a big game like this. So hopefully they do add more. But overall, there's more weapon usage in uh, Battlefield Hunter compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which they suck on. Uh, moving on to the maps, uh, they're pretty much quite different of each other. You know, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, of course, they have to be short, small because um, they want everybody to kill each other right away. Well, compared to Battlefield, you know, of course, it can have large-ass maps, so there's no competition there going on. But I do feel that uh, there's more action going on in this fucking game compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, where it's all laggy and shit, which pre pretty much takes me on to the next thing. The internet connection, of course. Battlefield Hardline, there was like maybe like one out of fucking 20 times where it lagged, and that's it. Compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, god damn, that laggy as game it's so bad seriously even the ps4 where everyone should have wire connection by this point people still using wi-fi and they fucking lag out the fucking game seriously that game is fucking lag call the advanced warfare they suck in internet connection it fucking sucks moving on to another thing the sbmm the thing that really kills call of duty pretty much ruins the matchmaking Alright, the matchmaking in, in Battlefield Hardline, damn, you'll find a fucking game right away. 
compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, where you have to have a certain amount of skill in order for you to compete, which is fucking dumb. I should have kept the fucking matchmaking from Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1, because those were fucking... Those, those, those were quick. Those were the quickest in my world, man. They will fucking put you in the, in the match right, like right away. So the matchmaking in Battlefield Hardline is good. The weapons are in Battlefield Hardline are great. The maps, there's no competition because they're both different, you know, they're pretty much different in sizes, so uh, you can't compare the maps. Uh, another thing we'll like to talk about will be the, the mechanics, you know, the hit detection in this fucking game is good. A lot better than Battlefield 4, I'm telling you. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the hit detection is quite weird. Sometimes it's bipolar, and a lot of it is affected by fucking lag, so... The hit detection on Battlefield Hardline pretty much is a lot better than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So there's like four or five categories that I just mentioned. There's more categories to mention, but um, we don't have enough time to talk about it. And also the the awards they give you is a lot more satisfying on Battlefield Hardline than in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So if you guys got any discussion about this, you know, Battlefield Hardline versus Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, let me know in the comment section. If I'm wrong, well, tell me in the comment section. I don't really mind. So that's it. Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.